Hi! Today we are doing a... Well, we're doing a BuzzFeed quiz to see what color uniform would I wear aboard the Enterprise. So yeah, we're going into the Star Trek universe. Let's just beam on up. Which piece of technology would you get the most use out of? The replicator? The tricorder? The transporter? The phaser? The holodeck? Or the pad? Um... Let's see... I'd probably use the holodeck the most, because... I... Like the idea of being able to go into any... Time, any... Era, any place, and just... Uh, just... Having fun, seeing what happens, what it was like back then. Like, I could go back to the... Uh... 1930s Scotland. See where my grandparents grew up. Like, as they were growing up. Like, that era Scotland. Instead of going over now and saying, Oh, hey, this is where they used to live. This place. Yeah. Um, next question. What one word would you... Would your fellow crew members use to describe you? Dependable, crafty, sharp, funny, clever, or outgoing? Not outgoing. Definitely not outgoing. Um. Ooh, but every every other word, apart from maybe crafty, I don't think it'd be funny either. Because I, I am kind of funny, but it's more punny than anything, so they'd get annoyed. <laughs> Let's go dependable. I'd say dependable. Uh, next question. Which captain is your captain? Jonathan Archer. Christopher Pike. James Tiberius Kirk. Jean-Luc Picard. Benjamin Sisko. Or Catherine Janeway. Um. Ooh, that's a good question. Because I've been watching... Like... The... Star Trek Enterprise series, the Star Trek, Dis Star Trek Discovery, which isn't that Christopher Pike, like, not that guy, but is Christopher Pike in part of it, and I've been watching part of the second gen, no, not the second gen, the next generation, I haven't seen whatever ones these are in, and I don't think I've watched any of the first one, like, I've watched the Star Trek movies, like the new ones but nothing from the original series so I think we're gonna have to go with Jonathan Archer Is, yeah, I don't know. Uh, next question which of these would you least like to encounter the Romulans the Klingons the Borg Q the Gorn hegemony and the Kobayashi Maru I don't know a lot about any of these, except for Q. I've seen Q in the the next generation. I was about to say second gen again. The next generation, and Q's way too powerful, so I'm going with Q. Um, what's your favorite Star Trek catchphrase? Live long and prosper. Beam me up, Scotty. Highly illogical. I'm a doctor, not a mechanic, engineer, escalator. Escalator? What? Uh, I'm giving her all she's got, Captain. That was a really bad accent. And make it so. Um. Um. Uh. This is a tough one. I'm gonna go with... Um, I like to make it so. My main reasoning for that is just because it's not like, do it. Ah, uh, no, 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 that's, that's... It's like the person suggested something. Make it so. It's like saying, okay, I like your idea, do it. Make it so. Make it so. Uh, next question. 
Which holodeck program would you like to... Would you most like to experience? Sherlock Holmes. The Orient Express. The New Orleans Jazz Club. The Forest of Forever. Aboard the original USS Enterprise. 1940s film... Noir? San Francisco. Ooh, um... Uh, I'm gonna go 1940s film. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, yeah. 1940s film noir, San Francisco. Main reason for that is, for some reason, I really like the cars of that era. So, uh, in that, I could just drive those cars everywhere. So, yeah. Next question. What's your least favorite odd numbered Star Trek movie? Um, what's your least favorite odd numbered Star Trek movie? Oh, come on. I'm going to go solely based on the poster because I've only seen one and that was Star Trek. Like the remake one and I, I've, I, I liked that so I can't go with that one. So, um, I'm going to go with Star Trek Generations. I, I, I don't know why, it's just something to do with that poster that I don't like. What's your favorite even numbered Star Trek movie? So again, I've only seen one of these in a Star Trek into Darkness, so I got I, I gotta go with that one, because that's that's the only one I know, so it's gotta be my favorite. So you got Command Red. You are decisive in commenting because you're always in control of every situation and know, always know exactly what to do. When you talk, people listen. Because of this sense of responsibility, you rarely do anything for your own benefit or gain. Instead, your actions are usually in service of others. Notable crew. Captain Picard, Captain Janeway, Commander Riker. Okay. Sweet. So, I would be Command Red in the Star Trek universe. So, just imagine that turns into red. <laughs> That's going to be really fun to get it. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I will leave a link down in the description to this quiz, just in case you want to do it yourself. Probably should have said that at the start, so that you could have played along with me. But, hey, you can do that. You can go back to the start of the video and replay it, and go along with me and see what you get. Let me know what you got down in the comments. Let's see how many other Command Reds there are. Let's see if there's some yellows, some blues. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Never ever regret yourself. See you later.